KVGC News Time, now seven minutes after the hour. Time for a look at the news for a Tuesday, the 23rd day of July for 2019. In the news today, the city of Jackson has voted to increase rates for water service in the city. Meeting Monday night, the council voted five to nothing to adopt a five-year water rate increase with rates increasing each year for the next five years. Under the adopted plan, a house with average water usage that is currently charged $33.72 will see their bill go up to $43.72 this year, $53.41 in 2021, and $57.73 in 2023. Higher water usage homes and commercial buildings will see a similar jump in rates. The city of Jackson has not increased its water rates in nine years, keeping their retail rates steady despite several increases from the Amador Water Agency. City Councilman Keith Sweet explained that previous city councils had held off on water rate increases due to the need for increased sewer rates until the council was forced to raise rates by a lack of financial reserves. The city received six protest votes under Proposition 218, well short of the 50% of ratepayers needed to block the increase. The council also last night reviewed a financial report on the just-concluded 2018-19 budget year, which will help inform the city as they continue to prepare the budget for the current 2019-2020 fiscal year. Ella Fiddletown woman was killed Friday evening on Highway 49 when her vehicle went off the roadway and struck a tree. According to the CHP, the woman, whose name had not yet been released as of late yesterday by the CHP, was traveling northbound on 49 just before 1030 north of Bell Road Friday evening. The investigation shows the vehicle was traveling at an unsafe speed through a series of turns. Due to her speed, the driver lost control. The vehicle traveled off the roadway down an embankment and struck a large tree. The driver was pronounced dead at the scene. The tree blocked the northbound lane of the highway for over an hour with traffic diverted to Bell Road. As the CHP investigation continues, it's unknown at this time if alcohol and or drugs played a role in the accident. Members of the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office Marijuana Enforcement Team served a search warrant on Wednesday of last week for illegal marijuana cultivation at a residence on DeMoss Lane in Mountain Ranch. Investigators found an illegal outdoor marijuana growing operation and seized over 1,000 marijuana plants. The suspects were not at the location at the time of the search. However, evidence seized from the scene is still being examined. The investigation is ongoing. On the same day, marijuana enforcement team members served a search warrant for illegal cultivation at a residence on Michael Road in Mountain Ranch. Investigators located an outdoor marijuana growing operation and seized 120 marijuana plants and close to 10 pounds of processed marijuana. The sheriff's office encourages anyone with information on illegal marijuana cultivation sites or sites manufacturing concentrated cannabis to call the Sheriff's Office Marijuana Tip Line, 754-6870. And Sutter Health has been awarded a $750,000 grant from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to expand its Sacramento-based physician residency program to Amador County as part of the federal agency's efforts to provide better access to quality medical care in rural areas. The Rural Residency Planning and Development Grant will help Sutter Health expand its successful family medicine residency program to the Sutter Amador Hospital campus. According to the County Health Rankings and Roadmaps website, in Amador County there is a high need for primary care physicians in our area as the ratio of population to one primary care physician is 1,760 people to one physician. The ratio throughout the state of California is 1,280 residents to one physician. This new grant allows Sutter to expand the program with six physician residents for Amador County. These six family medicine residents will spend their first year at the Sacramento Medical Center and then will complete their core inpatient training 
Then, following uh, that, for two years, they'll spend a residency at Sutter Amador Hospital. The goal of the Sutter Health Project is to develop a sustainable, accredited rural training track in the mother load and to ultimately expand the area's rural primary care workforce. And a quick reminder from Caltrans this Saturday. Caltrans is planning to install new stop signs on Highway 49 at the intersection of Highway 26. Stop signs already exist on 26 in McCallamy Hill, but the new stop signs will be placed on 49 to help address traffic safety. Now, a long-term plan is being developed for this intersection that will involve public input to help guide the design. Do you want traffic light, a roundabout, whatever? If you want more information, you can contact uh, Caltrans at uh, 948-3449. But again, that's coming up this Saturday, that uh, stop sign installation project. And that's a look at local news on a gold country. Tuesday morning from the KVGC News Center, I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Local news brought to us today as a service of Gold Country Auto Clinic and Howard's Body Shop. Remember, for the latest news, traffic, and weather 24 hours a day, you can always visit our website at kvgcradio.com.